Cool. So super excited for today's show. We're going to have a great conversation about Snow Crash, this book by Neil Stevenson that is apparently really, really important and influential to NFTs and crypto. I, at the risk of losing my nerd credentials, have not yet read this book. So don't feel bad if you also, as a listener, have not read this book. We've got an expert group of people here to help us talk about the book and think about how it maybe has influenced this space. So with me, I've got pioneering musician BT. I've got Tubador from Metapurse, Jenny G from High Street, and my partner in crime, Marguerite de Corcel. So my first question, whoever wants to jump in, who can give sort of a high-level overview for guys like me and gals like me that haven't necessarily read Snow Crash? So what's sort of the general story arc? It's an experience, uh, Jason. That's what Snow Crash is. Among other things, the word metaverse was coined in Snow Crash, and the term metaverse owes its origin story to this this particular term. Interestingly enough, the metaverse that we see around us today in the NFT space is not what Neil Stephenson envisioned, but you can see a lot of reflections of that. You know, a lot of those ideas of uh, virtual spaces seeming almost uh, real to you. And the idea of building up the virtual space, I think is super fascinating, is what the book really did for the metaverse. No, it's a great overview. So this world that I've been participating in is actually all comes from this book that I've never read, it sounds like. Other folks that have sort of read Snow Crash, you know, what sort of impact has it had on the way that you view this space and kind of have interacted with other folks and seen it take form? You know, there's something about the way Neil Stevenson, his talent for describing technology. When you think of the metaverse, like in Snow Crash, you understand people have these identities that live both online and offline. They carry with them, like the main protagonist. He's famous both in reality and, and online. He is, his skill set is actually a physical skill set. He's the best sword fighter in the world. And it's something he can do in real life also. I just think that that's an interesting idea of the like crossing over the physical and the digital boundaries. So I just love the gamification layer. So they have this like gamification layer. You have the technology kind of woven in into all the experiences. And you have this culture where people are like in charge of designing their destiny in some capacity. So yeah, I obviously really love Snow Crash. Actually, I went by the pseudonym of YT, who is the love interest, up until basically two years ago. I love what you're saying, Marguerite. I think that, Tudor, you said it too. First of all, the writing, Jason, is so, it's so exciting to read this. This is one of those ones, like a couple of Philip K. Dick's books that I actually revisit from time to time. And the sort of like style versus substance thing. They're just these prophetic ideas that he's great at describing that come up in this book that were sort of unthought or at least on paper unthought prior to that. I think Snow Crash has had a lot of influence in the music space more than, you know, so kind of being speaking for the music space. Um, and and it is, it's fascinating how this parallels things that are happening in you know, in, in crypto, in, you know, uh, virtual spaces, like Marguerite was saying, in everything we're involved in, it's, it's actually really, really exciting. It, this is a must read, like, you, you will freak out on this book, how good it is. So when I first started VR, definitely we we need to read the Snow Crash is the first time being talk about the metaverse. But also the Ready Player One is like probably the first film that majority of the audience here probably, you know, watch it and have this, oh, that is VR, that's like in the future. So I'm actually curious, like each person here, um, what's your uh, vision on the matter, how you define that? So maybe I need to read the book, but uh, but I, I think you know, on Twitter, I made the mistake of implying that the metaverse is just like 3D worlds. And everybody was like, the metaverse is so much more than that. It's already here now. And I know why I, know why I was getting picked on is because I, I hadn't read the book. But I will say, I also tweeted the other day that if I were born in any other generation, I think I would be an abject failure. But the fact that we have this virtual world where I'm much happier and more comfortable and can find people that have more common interests to me. I see that as sort of the metaverse. It's this opportunity where geography collapses and you can find like-minded people or people that just pleasantly disagree with you. And, you know, we've built these communities that are closer to what we want instead of what's forced upon us is sort of my thought. You know, even this this particular discussion that we're having, this conversation is part of the metaverse. Discussing decentralization, we're discussing NFTs and we're discussing these grand ideas. This does make this part of the metaverse as well. The, the beautiful aspect of Snow Crash is that apart from giving us a wide range of lexicography, once you've read the book, this is invariable, right? With any piece of science fiction you read, you can see little bits and pieces of it 
everywhere, all around you. This happened to me first when I read the Dune by Frank Herbert. I mean, in uh, you know, in every movie, I mean, I said, dude, I mean, Star Wars, The Matrix Reloaded, Tremors, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, Monsters Inc., Men in Black, all of these had little bits and pieces of Dune. And you'll see that same effect sort of translated in the metaverse that you see around you once you see, once you read that book. The fun part, apart from all of the other aspects that, that we just mentioned, you know, all, all of the, you know, the, the prescience that, that it describes and the sort of uh, cynical overview of how the world is going to evolve, the socio-political uh, landscape is going to evolve. It's that once you, you know, look up from the book and start to look at the people around you, the avatars, the names, the worlds, you start to see it differently. Oh, okay, this this is where it comes from. So that part's more fun, not just the reading of the book. Kind of excited about it because we're not completely abandoning the the reality. We're bringing those like real life brands, creator into the metaverse and to make a decentralized world. So everyone can participate, everyone can come in uh, and to collaborate and build their world. So so for us, it's not really, uh, some of the metaverse are very centralized. I think Facebook been doing a lot of um, uh, experiment on that as well to create one system. For us, I feel like every creator, every brand, every individual thinks very different and they want to have different contribution and identity to how we are able to create that kind of collaborative uh, ecosystem for everyone to participate it is something we should just uh, talk about or I mean, experiment with. I'd love to just kind of add on to what you said there, I think is it's interesting talking about the difference between this sort of metaverse concept in Snow Crash and in Ready Player One or sort of the popular concept of a metaverse and how categorically different they are. Tubador, you said something I think really resonated with me is we're already in the metaverse. You know, I was having a conversation with a CTO the other day and he said, you know, we're spending some of us 16 hours a day looking at a screen. It doesn't, you know, this sort of pop concept, like you said, idea, Marguerite, of it, this being in VR is not necessarily where all of this, where it's going to terminate, where the point is. And there's already tenets of this all around us that we're utilizing right in this moment. I mean, like you said, Judah, we're like talking about NFTs in the metaverse. I mean, it's like it can't be more meta than that. So part of us is already there, I think. Like you said, Marguerite, it's going to be amazing to watch how it develops. I think the message is to folks like me that haven't read the book, if we want to know what the future is going to look like, and it sounds like we're already pretty well into it, go out and get Snow Crash. I did see Ready Player One, so I saw the movie, but I should probably read that book too. I feel like I'm back in high school English class trying to go through the cliff notes to keep up with everybody. So I'm going to go get educated, but thank you guys for letting me know just how important this book is. And I think a lot of us will go out and read it now. Appreciate it. 